All right, rolling right on along here. You look up there on the thumb. You see the GoPro right there on the thumb? Got it mounted on the thumb, so. Here's what's happening. This pond is in front of my house. Right there's my house. This pond backs up from across the road over there on my neighbor and pushes back up on me. Well, since I've been here, I've been here since 2002 now. It's, you know, just silted in and it never was really that deep out there in the middle. Like right now, it's about three foot deep out there is about all it is. But I'm having trouble with this grass now. And you can see where I cut the cut line where I mow to. And it has to dry up a good bit for me to be able to come on down mowing. But what I'm going to do is I'm digging. I'm going to dig all this back. I'm starting over here on this side first because I can't do anything with this dirt over here. So I'm just lining it over here along the tree line. Let it dry and it'll be fine. Just leave it there. But yesterday kind of surprised me. I started up there about where that... Uh, where that cross tie post is up there. I started up there and worked my way all the way back to right here, right before it got dark. So I covered a good bit of ground, but the creek that feeds this thing comes from back here to my left. Back over this way. I have a good bit of watershed that comes down through here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna dig this out. Now what I've got I'm, I'm going to, it's still not quite dry enough to do it exactly the way I want to do it, but uh, I'm going to take and put me a berm up around those culverts down there, probably about August, and then I'm going to pump what, what little bit of water is left in here, I'm going to pump it out, pump it over into the through the culverts there, over on the other side of the road, and then I'm going to dig all this out and haul all it back there to where I was moving that dirt. Uh, back. I'm just going to drop it down, pull it back to where I got me a ledge back there to mow to. That's that's what I want to do. I want to get rid of all those water weeds there is what, what, what I'm after doing. So that's what I'm doing. Drone sitting up there in the yard. Right there on the box, on the case. I'm going to fly it some. Got my GoPro in here. You're on my Sony right now. And I'm just going to start digging. I got over here yesterday just play with see what I could get away with. I had to stay on top of saplings to go out that way to keep the machine on top of the ground. So I'm just going to ease along. That surprised me how fast I was able to do this. So I'll be back.
my tracks all the way out there. What I did is, is there was a, but there's a bunch of saplings here. And I just took them, and you can lay them down, and you can get up on top of them, and they'll they'll hold you up. You can do whatever you want to do, and track out there, and uh, so you can see how much width I've increased that over there now as I've come from over under back this way and I'm just piling the mud. There's mud over along tree line. There's a big pile right here. So I'm just gonna just mound this mud up. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just starting on one side and just digging, just coming all the way across, all the way around. And uh, so now I'm fixing to catch this right here and I'm fixing to pull all this stuff back and stack it over there too. And just, just getting it down. The pond is down a good bit right now. And if I dig it to where it's the depth of that bucket that's about four feet deep right there with the bucket standing up where the teeth are down and then once the pond fills back up that'll give me really good depth out here then and uh so i'm just pedaling around fixing to head on up this ditch right here uh digging all this stuff back this way it'll take it you know a few rains to kind of settle everything down once i get it dug you know of course, I'm not going to dig this over here until it dries on up some more. I want it to be dry because I want to be able to come all the way out to this, nearly to the end of that weed line and pull all that stuff back right there. That's my game plan anyhow. Most of the time things don't work out the way I want them to work, but that's what I'm going to do.